It's getting intense today. It's yeah, going to get intense. Yeah, There's going to be some shit happening on I, this episode. I'm ready. Uh, welcome to another episode of Nerd Out. Out. I'm Randy. This is Brian. And uh, there's a lot. Uh, first of all, I came home from New York Toy Fair. Uh, I came home like Wednesday, Tuesday. Okay. It How was... did you not leave with the Snake Eyes? So, like, I will What tell was you, the availability uh, on those? Like, where did you have to... I'm um, just telling No, 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 sure. no. These are good questions. Yeah. Uh... Uh, can, can I get oh, there, or do you want me yeah. to jump right into G.I. Joe? Let, let me get there. All right, so, the story. so uh, yeah. this was my first time in New York. I won't get to it today, but I love the city. Uh, I really did. Like, I felt really at home there. Uh, but anyways, that's irrelevant. It, the, the, this is this show was huge. Like, it was enormous. But um, I guess I knew this, but, you know, obviously you can't buy anything and take home with you. Like, you can order stuff, but, like, you can't buy stuff. And it was really difficult as uh, a super, like, I don't know, compulsive person to see all these setups. Not be able to buy any of it. Nothing. Not touch it. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, it was it was very uh, infuriating. And also, I went as a buyer, not as like a press person. So I was not. I was. I don't know. Like Did they treat you better or worse. I think they treated me worse, which is kind of crappy. Crazy because you're spending the money. That's right. Like yeah. I saw, like I saw some of the other, uh, like legitimate youtubers like whatever we, we're, we, yeah but we it wasn't buy. their first time right Two, right but so they, they got new one they got like these cool mezco press packages and like i don't know if i would have qualified for one anyway because i think you need like a certain amount of followers and like legitimacy i think you got to be like a shardimus or a pixel mm -hmm. dan to get one and we aren't that but with that mm -hmm. said i did want that space ghost they had a little space ghost five point nevertheless it was great um it was an amazing, amazing show. There's a lot I saw. But uh, now we'll jump into that a little bit. So Mattel and Hasbro would not let me in without an appointment. Did you get an appointment? No. Because now the question is, is it could have been on me, but um, I think, I don't know if they would have accepted an appointment if I would have gotten one beforehand anyway. Well, I'm sure they would have. Why I don't would know. they not? Because I go through um, other avenues to get my product from hasbro like i have to go to oh, through, like, you're not a big enough you that's don't right buy directly from right them. i got tiny balls in this industry yeah, like, but that's you... still bullshit they should still want you it, it, it the more you buy even from a third party it helps them sort of i, I agree it was kind of frustrating because look i'll be as honest and clear as like there was a lot of stuff i wanted to see but i think when it came down to it it was the gi joe and star wars stuff that i wanted to see the most mm -hmm. and uh i felt I, I okay so hasbro was in a different was not in the Javits Center. Like it was like you had to, I had to like walk like I don't know fifteen minutes away mm -hmm. in the city, and then we get there. I get there, and they're like, "No, it's appointment only." And I'm like, "There's nothing we can do." And they're like, "They're like, no." And I'm like, "All right, you know that was it." So you couldn't even look at no, which is bummer because like that was yeah. Oh my god, it was a bummer. So I had to, I had to it, like look at all the uh, pictures of the Hasbro and Mattel stuff just as everyone else and i'm not saying like oh poor randy i'm just saying like i went there so yeah. i was like i went there and i would like hope that i could have seen the stuff um so we'll just jump into that like gi joe they showed so the snake eyes yeah was not given away at toy fair you, you had to pre-order it mm -hmm. on pulse and i did pre-order it yeah. and i think it'll come in in april and then now they allow more pre-april pre if you get it with all that crazy packaging i'm opening what, it you, i know i'm not oh okay. like i'm not usually a sucker but that packaging is cool it is cool i like that i like that figure a lot. Uh, do you like I, the figure I, I love the snake eyes i really sort of like the other ones but not as much as the snake eyes i, I just in my only issue with the other ones it, like duke's legs just don't do it for, mm -hmm. me for some reason, uh, you know. No, no. What do you fair. think of them? So, I mean, uh, no, that's fair. Uh, I, I love them. Though. I, I think I, they're really cool. I very much like them a lot. Right. I think that they're slightly over designed. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll over, in, like, yeah. I think there's just slightly too many paint applications. Yeah. Like, they could have toned it down a little yeah. bit. But with that said, I, I'm glad that Hasbro isn't just doing 25th anniversary, uh, six inch style, like. I'm glad that they're taking elements of these characters and their their costumes, and they, they put thought into it. Yeah, they're trying to do something original. Yeah, like, like I mean, somewhat original. Somewhat original. You know? they're, yeah, they're, they're definitely also. Um, I know a lot of the criticism is it's like, oh, it's Fortnite GI Joe. It's got like elements, but yeah. like, let's be honest, like they're trying to keep GI Joe relevant, and and 
if they just keep doing stuff for 44 year old dudes it's, it's gonna like, die again and yeah and i mean what's wrong with with Fortnite no. GI Joes. Right, I mean, right. if you can play with them together, right? I mean, like, well, they're bigger, but like design wise, they sort of have like those those elements. Like, yeah. it's kind of like the 1990s when everything had like pouches. And yeah, then, like, yeah, and a, I sort of love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's a certain element to them that have like a modern design. Um, I really like the head sculpts, which was important to me because I was scared they were gonna do like big eyed guy, like big eyed yeah. and animated. They didn't. They're like more realistic. Um, my complaint, beside them being slightly over designed is I think the weapons are kind of weak. Like, they're not realistic, but they're almost realistic. Which is really weird, because Snake Eyes comes with real weapons. Totally. He's got the Uzi and all that, and Roadblock comes with, like, a laser. Yeah, blaster. Roadblock comes with a laser. Like, they could just give him some huge, stupid, obnoxious thing, but you know what? Like they a, might. I mean, maybe I they're going to they do might. realistic weapons for another release or something. Well, that's my thought. My thought is that this is the first assortment. Yep. Um... They, you got to get it, give it time to sort of like develop and get yeah. better. Like it's like when when Star Wars Black came out, or like when Marvel Legends came out. Like it took a little time for them to 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 nuance it into perfection. How were they received? The original Black, like they were pretty popular, right? Yeah, because I mean, that first series of Star Wars Black were, were really amazing. good, and then the second they wimped out. That's for right, a little bit, well, like a few runs. Like, right. What do you think? Like four seasons? I know it's not seasons, but I just. These? I just remember like that first run with the like Luke X Wing yeah. and they were really good and then that Luke Jedi Knight came out and he had like these droopy eyes and this yeah. cheap plastic and you could tell that they were just phoning it in. The Vader was sort of junky. The Vader but was... I still liked it. I don't know why I like it. I think you Vader. like it because you like Vader. It's and I get it. Possible. Um, it is possible. But overall, I, I really I also as time goes on, that snake eyes, like my first impression was again a little over designed. And I thought the visor was too silver and too like big. But um, the more I look at it, like I saw like uh, I think Toy Bro put a review up, and I it seemed it, a little bit more muted in in person. I thought I agree. Like not I agree. In person, but right. on video. And and sometimes the sometimes with something different than you expect it to yeah. be, you get used to it, he, and then you get to soak that in, and you end up liking it better. Does he have a lot of gray on him, or did I was I just looking at weird angles? No, it's got the this, gray pants. It's it does, but I think that's it's, not my favorite. Thing I, it's not my favorite thing either. Um, I actually think it's like a muddy brown. Is it's it? Not, yeah, oh, but it's so. not black. It's an off color. There's than a the rest mix. Of them. Yeah, I wish that, it was... I didn't care for that, but I know they're trying to give it contrast. Yeah, and all that, but... I don't care for that either. Um. To, to this date, the Pursuit of Cobra Snake Eyes, which was also the sideshow Snake Eyes, is my favorite design. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know that that could be beat. It's just a perfect combination of a Commando Snake Eyes. Mm. And a, but uh, overall, I'm very excited. I think there's a lot of gold going on, and I think that they could tone down the gold, and the, like especially, like you said, Duke. Mm. Um, I did see a picture, and I'll what try to... What Scarlet? That's what I'll get to right yeah, here. I saw a, a picture. At first, I wasn't so crazy about it. And then I saw a picture that someone did where they um, photoshopped the figure to look uh, more like the original colors. Yeah. And I like the new one better. So it was that was sort of a good example of how I do like what Hasbro has done. I like her more than the old figure. It's just something about her face. I don't. I wish she looked more like the cartoon a little. Not too much, but like. What is she a little bit more youthful? Like I really like they did freckles on her, and I think that was kind of cool. Like, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to... I really like that. I don't know. I like them all. I'm into it. I like her all. I like them all. They didn't show Destro yet. Um, oh. I'm hoping that Destro either has a chrome head or he's got that, like... They used a great silver for Silver Surfer that was almost chrome, but they got to make it shiny. Like, What they are we going to get in the enemy lineup? Do we know? Um, we know Destro. Yeah. Uh, I think Cobra Commander and I think Baroness. But, um, you know... Baroness Sweet. Yeah, they yeah. Do, they oh, have man. to do her right. Yeah, they do. They that was the do. only good thing about the movie. Fairness? Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. not like that movie. Which one? Good. The first one? Or yeah, the she one? looked right. She yes. looked perfect for the Baroness. Even her outfit was like pulled right out of the cartoon. I loved that. I agree. They did get that. I have to say, it, I watched that movie about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I watched it straight through. Look, my feeling <laughs> for the, my I bet worse. Yeah, my feeling for Rise of Cobra is that if it wasn't called GI Joe and it was just called like Side Fighters, it would Fighters, be the cheesiest action but it movie been, that you like. It would have been yeah. all right, right? Yeah. But because it was called GI yeah. Joe and they took these characters that already had good storylines mm. and they twisted them around, that kind of bummed me just, out. If they all they have to do is take the cartoon, the first season or the first like couple miniseries, and just adapt that. 
Maybe they have take a out movie. maybe take out some of the cheese of the like trans. Wait, what was it called? The transporter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, but and and if if they can film it right and they have like. I want the underwater battle. They have to have a weapon cool. where they have to get elements from all around the world, though, because that was my favorite part of it. Uh, yeah? That beam was stupid, what it did. It was stupid. But how they had to go, like, under the ocean to get, like... That's pretty cool. That's true. I, it was sweet. I loved it. I love... Like, yeah, man. I, I agree. That's like, it, like I love G.I. Joe, so yeah. it's like, I'm in. Um, overall, I'm happy with it. We didn't see any three and three fourth inch stuff. It's fine. Um, so we'll go to Star Wars and then we'll go through all those stuff. So obviously Star Wars, I mean, it was pretty limited showing like, mm. but the ultimate thing is they showed the vintage collection carded Luke Jedi Knight. Did you see that? Yes, I did. I've already I mean, ordered. I saw that. Yeah, I, yes, I did. You like that, huh? I've, I've, pre that? I've pre-ordered 10 for my, oh, is that too much? That's obnoxious. That is yeah, obnoxious. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Well, when I think about it, it's only about $120 for 10 of them. Sweet. I, now, I, you're not going to keep all 10, right? I mean, you're getting some of those to, like... For the shop? Uh, uh, no? Okay. Maybe two. I mean, you you need at least two carded. At least yes. two open. Two carded, two open, and then two carded back up, at least. Okay, okay. So, That's, four so maybe, maybe I'll just keep five. Mm -hmm. But I think it's perfect. I think okay. it's perfect. The only thing is, is I don't think they changed the lightsaber. And No, they didn't. Been, I looked no, for that. I, I looked for it. Like, I still, I don't know. It's not like care, but it's it, like it's a missed opportunity for perfection. Yeah. Um. Maybe they're like they don't want a perfect loop. So no matter how so good they, they have make to it, do it again. Yeah. There's like certain Indian tribes in the art. They intentionally put in a what? mistake. Yeah. They that certain like in a lot of Native American art, they intentionally uh -huh. will put like a mistake in a pattern. It but too. okay, all right. Because they believe that only the divine can be perfect. Uh, That's interesting. Uh, That's interesting. But otherwise, this Luke Jedi Knight is, is perfection. Uh, did you? I mean, they're making that big snow speeder. That's pretty rad. That looks pretty cool. But I wonder what they're gonna want for it. Um, I think they retail for about 150, which is not bad. bad. I'd buy yeah. that. I'd, I mean, I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of the snow speeder, no? but. I get it. I mean, I like I it. like vehicles. The like problem that. is with the snow speeder is it can't go. It's 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 can't go into space. Yeah, right? which is like Star Wars. Like right. I, I'd like a more universal. Like right. I would have liked an A wing. Oh, an A wing would have been small cool. enough that you can. It'd be huge, but it's I, probably the only one you could do it. You're with, right. right. I like the I like the snow speeder better than the A wing though. Okay, but I mean, you can pretend it goes. Yeah, that's true. Too. That's true. Um, that's vintage collection slave one. That's all yeah, that, one. I mean, I have it, or I did have it from. It's, from what I understand, it's completely re redesigned. The but, bottom of it, they okay. put in realistic details and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like I'll probably get it. I'll, uh, like I I'm love in. that one. Yeah, it's yeah. sweet. Uh, it's sweet, and, and it comes with a stand. It does. Yeah, so you can put it in flight mode. Oh, that's is, awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'm on that. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, I'm on, on that too. I mean, Bo Boba Fett's a home run. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of any other like Star Wars stuff. I mean, there's like that other stupid Luke Luke X Wing vintage. That that is <sighs> terrible. And they should be ashamed of themselves for that. I sort of agree, all because right. that retro collection, it's like they're going about it all wrong. It's like okay. why are they why are they releasing it with a game, like the one figure, the one that figure, you, that everybody, the one new one with the game. Yeah, it's like what's the point? I don't like, understand the point. Like why don't they slip it in the assortment? Mm -hmm. And then they're making these Walmart exclusives. So like Boba Fett obviously sold out immediately. Yeah, of course. I mean, just make a case assortment. Pop in one or two new. Don't skulls. put the stupid stickers on it. Yeah. Get rid of those stickers because they're dumb. They are dumb. And like, don't pre weather the card. I don't like that at all. Nobody's dumb enough. Is gonna be dumb enough to think it's the real one. And if they are, then that's their fault. Or at least put like a little thing in the corner that yeah. says like like you know retro, retro. Like, shit. like really small. But don't pollute a card. That they're selling because people want that aesthetic and then wreck it, you know. I'll agree with you. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me that much, but I, I think you're it a is loose a, collector. I am, but I mean, those are intended to be bought and put on your wall or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then Transformers. Um, they showed like some cool stuff, like Skylinks. Oh, yeah, and, like, yeah you're I like that. All I right. like that a lot. I've been waiting for a good Skylinks, and the third party one isn't good. Oh, but it looks I, good, but it's. I heard it's like not the best. Okay, toy. I think that Skylink's looks sweet. I man. think it looks cool too. Uh, I'm trying to think what else they showed. Scorponok looked all right. See, I didn't like Scorponok. No, I don't I mean, really I care for that, that character. I love the the Titan series, but like, 
<laughs> That's not my guy. Scorpion is just not my guy. Did you see the Netflix Siege cartoon trailer? No. I thought it looked good. Look good? Yeah. yeah sweet. I mean, it, it looked good. I, I don't know what else to really say about it. It, it looked un good enough to, to have me interested. Yeah. Um, and then, like, um, I can't think of anything. Oh, the Ghostbusters figures. What yeah. do you think of that? I think those look pretty good. I like them. I, I like them, too. So I I'll be honest with you. Like, I'm not really into Ghostbusters me merchandise. Like, I like either. the movie. Yeah. But, like, the merchandise, like, I'm not, like... They're not that exciting, but I think they're cool. I think the Build-A-Figure concept's cool. Um, it's just going to make people have to buy at least two sets so they can get two of the gargoyle creatures. Um, I think it was a nice surprise, and I think, again, I think Hasbro's really on top of their game, like, as far as, like, making toys. Yeah, they're not screwing up. No. Lately, they're really trying to, com I would say, compete, but... I think that they've got the, the top echelon, right? They're doing good. I mean, even in Transformers, where I guess that's Takara... You know, but mm, like I don't know if it is. I think well, Hasbro's in control of the decision making. Because the Earthrise figures, they're good. They're good. I mean, I, I, I like. I was just like doing a little research uh, before the show. I'm like, I think I need to get some of these. Like the Cliff Jumper. I'll have them in this week. Yeah, I'll buy it. I okay. mean, I'm pissed because the parts former. Yeah. But I don't care. I think it looks really yeah. good. I was like that. Pretty good. It's like yeah. And no, they made him a Daytona, like or whatever that '80s car is. I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. I think it's a good good way to satisfy that G1 thing yeah. and, and not the price of like a masterpiece and you can play with them and they're fun. I, I think it's a good line. I'm, I've said it before. I'm burnt out on G1 aesthetics. but I'm burnt out on masterpiece. But I yeah, think I'm yeah. starting to get a new burn back for, for Transformers. Speaking of that, you know what I should get today? My Leo Convoy Beast Wars when I get okay, home. Okay, that's but, sort of cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'll bet. Oh, yeah, that's going to... Yeah. How big is it? Is it, like, way bigger than... Uh... No, it's about the size of the Optimus, Pri Optimal, oh, Optimus Primal, yep. just, like, a little bit bigger. And it's very animated, and I like it, but I could I could go in a whole thing of how I totally, like, contradict my feelings towards G1 Masterpiece. But who cares? It's my... Yeah, but I'm sort of excited to see that, because the, the, those Beast Wars figure, like... They are top-notch, right? They're top-notch, and it's, like, with, with the G1 masterpiece that they've been doing it's mm -hmm. like it's sort of refreshing to see them do it right you know i agree it's like i just i yeah, like the, the g1 one. i don't know it's like I, not doing it for no me. no 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 um and then mattel uh they showed a lot of cool masters of the universe that mm. classic looking line um but they wouldn't let me in they were jerks uh, they weren't jerks but i i was i was sticklers jerks. for the rules yeah and then mm. what else is mattel doing wrestling stuff which That's you know it's fine right. it's just not my thing um, and then the things that I did see, so I'm going to go down the list a little bit. Um, Mezco was the first one I went to see. Uh, that Mezco alien is awesome. Yeah, that looks sweet. It's, it's one of those things where like, I didn't know I needed another alien figure until I saw until it. Until you see yeah. one and like that. They had a ton of stuff. They did have a ton what, of stuff. What else, what else did they, they have? They showed the Conan and in person yeah. it's fantastic. I mean, I'm so excited. It looks like a Frank Rosetta uh, picture. They like, they showed like Gambit and like. They, uh, Wonder Woman, and, like, all... There's a big one. Uh, I can't remember it, and I was really like, that's sweet! I don't think it was superhero. Uh, um, I don't... I'm trying... They did a Dr. Zayas? Um, I don't remember what it was. Like, that's the thing, is there was so much yeah. that I don't remember what the... Like, going back and thinking about it, what it was. Uh, I really like their five-point stuff. Right. I think that they look better than the reaction figures. Um, they showed like the Batman set and then this, that's classic, like who, uh, Schleicer, who did the Superman old cartoon? Uh, why can't I think of his name? Oh, what's his uh, name? I can't Steve think of it. The, the guy that played him? No, no. Um, the cartoon, it was like, a, it was the very stylized, I can't remember what it was called, but, and then they, the space ghost, I really wanted the space ghost. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, holy shit. And then, the, and then the Super 7 react, the Super 7 stuff had great stuff. Oh they, my god. Did They're you... doing so, I want the Lay Live stuff. Me like, too. Like, oh my god, the black and white alien mm -hmm. on the box that says obey. Yeah. Like, I could so just get in trouble. They're making yeah. American Werewolf in London. Yeah, that's so, awesome. That's what, I don't know why, I, first of all, I think that that may be my favorite horror movie of all time. I need to rewatch it. I mean, I've seen it. I, I, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Yeah, I love it. Um, and then they're doing like Gem, which is cool. They're doing a lot of horror stuff like Chucky, Michael Myers, which makes sense. Like that stuff yeah. is, is the stuff to do. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and then the classics figures. Uh, they showed the Jaga, the Thundercats mm -hmm. Jaga. Captain Cracker, I think his name is. Captain Cracker. Yeah, he was like, he was like a tail ender. Uh, oh, yeah. Slythe. 
and uh, I don't remember who else it was, but they look great. I, I liked I liked the fact that they didn't look super animated, but they looked animated. You know what I mean? Right. Like they looked like they were sculpted with detail. I really wish they would have brought the uh, Lionel and whatever, so I can see whether they've made any sculpting additions from the Maddie collectors, but they didn't bring any of that stuff. Mm. So, I mean, do I rebuy those? Not if they're not re-sculpted. Well, I mean, do you still have the old ones? I do, but mm. but... I think the new ones come with new accessories. Yeah, then you gotta rebuy them for sure. I don't know. I don't know how much I really need new accessories. I did. I am gonna rebuy them though. Right. But they're so expensive. Um, I want a Thunder Tank. Oh, that would be man. Great. If they do, like, I wish. Would you be we okay? lived in a series with accessories back and vehicles? Well, that's why we gotta go with one eighteenth scale. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I'll give you that. Yeah, because I mean, the whole thing is, it's just like a lot of people. That's what made them want toys. Were the vehicles like me I and my brother? We're vehicle guys. You know, like, like I, the action figure was secondary. So you feel like the action figure was an accessory to the vehicle? I knew that certain people that were they revolved around that, mm -hmm. but I didn't. I cared about the toys. Like I put a GI Joe guy in a Star Wars vehicle. I didn't care. I just needed a dude to go in the vehicle. I mm -hmm. didn't care. Okay. You know, I could pretend that my dude was whoever. So that's I was no, no. Yeah. That's 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 interesting. Like. That's why G.I. Joe works so well for me, because I am a figure guy. Oh. But because the vehicles generally came with action figures, or at least yeah. like Asian, yeah, I guess. that sold me. Like, yep. like Zartan with his little oh. Swamp Rider, like, yep. that made it more desirable to me. Um, but that's just because I, I, I love the character of the action figure. And G.I. Joe just had the best play value. I 100%. think of any line ever, they made the most stuff. And you... Just... No, I agree. Like... And when you got a vehicle, you got to sort of put it together, yep. put the stickers, stickers on, on it. It yep. wasn't difficult, but it was challenging enough where, mm. like, you had 20 minutes of putting it together. The vehicles look good together. You park your shit under the couch, have a base. Yeah. It was just, like, bases, man. Just... So, so do you think that with a six-inch G.I. Joe line, like, it defeats the whole purpose of G.I. Joe? No. Okay. No, because I think it, uh, I mean... Because it is, it is. I think for a kid, maybe yeah. you you're not gonna be able to sell your kids on the same thing that attracted us no, to it. But no. that doesn't exist anyway. Anymore. You're right. I'm trying to think of a toy line that uh, that really has good interactive vehicles and play sets. I can't think of any. Like to be honest, ah, with you. now I'm trying to think. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing. Um, yeah, I, I think Star Wars. Obviously, yeah. I, think the, I think the vintage collection is really on top of the game, mm -hmm. and like they are in like I, they just came out with that. Uh, Imperial Troop Transport. I really want yeah, it. Yeah, that thing's sweet. Yeah, that just, is cool. It's just hard for me to swallow an $80 price tag for like a, literally a box. I yeah. I didn't realize it was 80 bucks. I might wait till it goes down on clearance because you know it, it will. will. It totally will. Um, NECA has some of the most impressive stuff there. Mm. Uh, they, they're doing the They Live uh, like cloth ones and they're making a Nada figure. Oh, I saw the Amigo looking like that's so that's a, must. That's a little better than Amigo, but yeah, that thing looks amazing. It's a must. Uh, they're, they're doing a lot of horror stuff. They did this, they're doing this Annabelle figure, and I'm not really like into the whole like Annabelle thing, but it comes in the little collector case, like the the plat, you box? know, yeah. And oh, that the, the display case yeah. that she's in in the, in the movie, cool. and I thought, I think that that's just, like. What a great display piece that's going to be. So yep. I'm all on that. Uh, the best thing, and probably the best thing I saw at the show, was NECA showed Defenders of the Universe figure. Or Defenders of the yep. Earth figures. Yep. Was I it Defenders it. of the Earth? Defenders or of the Earth. Yeah. yeah. Um, is that Flash Gordon? And is that Ming? Like, I know, like, what's the deal Flash with that? Flash Gordon, Ming, Ming, the Phantom. Ming, the Phantom. Uh, Who's that? It? I forgot the other ones. Uh, the the Magician, I can't, I can't remember his name. And then the... Uh, the the uh, what was is it? It's not like it's not like Merlin, is it? No. Or... Oh, it, it might be Merlin or something like that. Yeah. Um. So they're all King's World properties. Okay. So like cartoon King's World. Okay, okay. Right. So they just mashed them together in the eighties and made a. But was there group. a story with it, or was it a cartoon? Just, they did. Yeah, but was I it watchable. I think so, but I'll be honest with you. Like, it wasn't heavy in rotation when I was a kid. But I thought the figures were cool. Like Me as too, a but I've never seen a cartoon of it. I didn't even know there was one. I suggest YouTube. Maybe I'll have to do the same. Because yeah. I'm curious. I, I know I watched it, but the figures were like a cool scale. They were big. 
and they went on clearance really quickly so you could like get them for like a kb for like a buck 98 or whatever um but these figures NECA did like they're super well designed yeah they look beautiful they look like they yeah they look nice i think NECA is also a toy line that's like they got i and and i'm i gave them a lot of crap because of some of the quality issues Shit, bro yeah. yeah yeah but um they pretty much gave me the gave everyone the middle finger and said, "Look, we're gonna make some of the best toys you can get. Uh, like the Ninja Turtle stuff look great. Beautiful. Like even if you're not into it, which I'm not, but they still look sweet. Yeah, that oh, first good. movie is still good. That, I love it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like the second and the third. Yeah, movie. I mean yeah. I don't like them, but sometimes you'll catch me watching. I them. like the first one. Yeah, it's the, good. It, it's a real good movie. I I agree because uh, it's like a Hong Hong Kong like kung fu. Movie. Yeah, that's a good way to describe. It's made it. by all those people. It's um. Uh, what is it, Harvest? The, the it production was, company was... Was it Jim Henson? I don't think so. It was like... It was a low-budget company, like an indie company. No, but like, it was the same company that produced Under the Dragon. And all those really? Like, yeah, and all those like Hong Kong Kung Fu movies. It's Silver Harvest or something like that. So word is that's how the Snake Eyes movie is going to be. It's going to be like a, like a... Like a... Whatever the modern like... Like Kung Fu type style But that's movie. what it's going to be is a martial arts movie. That's what I've heard. I'm into that. I'm into that, that too. Sweet. They need to bring that back. There hasn't been a good martial arts movie in like no, like forever. I guess John Wick is the closest to having like a real good action. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, they showed the Back to the Future figures, which look good. Mm -hmm. I don't know how bad I need uh, a Marty, Marty McFly, McFly action figure, but they looked excellent. Um, I'm trying to think what else I missed in NECA because NECA, I think NECA stuff probably looked second best. Because I'll tell you what my favorite was. I really like the Boss Fight Studio stuff. Mm. That Flash Gordon line. Did you see him? Yeah, that's going to be a big deal, isn't it? It's going to be uh, for me. Yeah. Is it going to flop? Of course. No, I mean, I think they produced it at a scale that they sell it all. I, mean, I agree. I, I think they know how much to make, you know? I, I, not just, I, I'm grateful they make it. Me too. You know, they, the simple fact that they make that. And they they can keep their numbers right that they don't have to lose money doing it, you know. And they're going deep. Like I talked to the I talked to the, them. They're really nice. Um, they are planning going deep. Like they're doing the guards. You know that's what I mean? Awesome. I mean that's, that's amazing. Awesome. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, and in addition to that, they're doing like uh, Zorro figures, which for some reason like do you remember the old Gabriel uh, yes, Zorro figures? 100%. I loved those. Was he halfway between a GI Joe and a Star Wars? Um, no, he was. Do, do you remember? Do you remember the Indiana Jones figures by yes, Kenner? Yes, that's yeah, what pretty yep, much yep, like yep, they had yep, the yep. they were like Star Wars figures with the Arctic. Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I love the, the they were the Legend of the Lone Ranger and Zorro figures. I loved that line. It was great. And so I, I have a thing for Zorro. They're doing a Phantom figure too, which is weird. Like now we're gonna get all these Phantom, the purple outfit. Yeah, Phantom. what's up with that? Maybe mm -hmm. it's just an available license that they're like, well, he's somewhat recognizable. We I want to remove you. Well Mask with Billy Zane under it. That movie is one of the worst movies ever, right? I, I, I would imagine I haven't gotten... That's one of those little... movies I always promise myself I'm going to watch from beginning to end, yeah. and I can never I don't think it. it's watchable. No. I don't think it is. What happened to Billy Zane? Like, he was sort of a star, and he was in Titanic, and like, mm. he just sort of disappear it out yeah i don't know i i i, I don't know it's weird mm -hmm. um so yeah like boss white studio um is my favorite and it's also because i love their buck like the just the figure like designs yeah. the vitruvian hacks like i love the articulation they're the ones that did the pursuit of cobra figures i think and it was just uh i just really like the 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 interchangeability and the fun and they were really nice people so uh and i like those horses they're doing I don't know. I don't know what what is it about hey, man. Like, action figure Getting horses. Briar horses too. You know? Briar horses. Are those? Are yeah. they still around? Yes, actually. I mean, those I, things are crazy money. At Toy Fair, I saw the it. Briar horse uh, display, and I was really cool. I I would check out anything like nice yeah, action yeah, figures. Not? Yeah, I looked at like the Schleich stuff because they always make like really cool. Yeah, they make like really detailed dinosaurs and stuff. Oh right on. Yeah, and plus my son likes them, so you know. Um, also, Did you see? Oh, you didn't get to see Hasbro. No. Why? What were you gonna say? I was gonna ask you if you saw the the hyper real Luke. No, but I watched the vehicle, and that Thank outfit's you. actually rubber. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I or don't not, either. But I think I like it more because they can probably make it look correct. Right, because they can sculpt. Rubber. They can sculpt the wrinkles. Into It'll it. feel weird. It's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel weird. I'm on board though. I like the hyper real Vader now. Yeah, me too. You gotta um, do a biker scout. 
biker scout. On the bike? So here's a question for you. If they do a biker scout, yeah. do you do the flip up visor? Because it exists. Uh, but I, I'm kind of against the up flip up visor. Because we never see their faces in the movies. I, I can believe it. I can go either way. I say, yeah, I, I mean, usually when they flip up, it would make it distort anyway. Mm -hmm. Is this the way it's designed? It would be. So I say no. Just leave it. That's one of those things that in Return of the Jedi, I never paid attention to the, to the design uh -huh. where you could see that it is supposed mm -hmm. to flip up. And uh -huh. so when I first saw that, I don't know, was it Clone Wars or something? Whatever they did it in, uh, it kind of blew my mind. I was like, well, they, I, I didn't realize they did this. I thought maybe that they added it or something. Um, the last company I will focus on is McFarlane. Yeah. I, I actually ran into Todd McFarlane uh, walking around the show. Did and, you say anything to him? Um, I wanted to. I so took a picture nervous. of him. Oh, well, it was God. just, he was walking around with his wife. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, assuming yeah. his wife. Mm -hmm. And like, he was looking at something and I didn't want to be like, Todd McFarlane, uh, or Todd, Todd McF I always mispronounce his name. Mm -hmm. Like, you're awesome. The Todd father. Like, it's just like, I don't know what to say to somebody. You know? I know. It's like, yeah, I know. I mean, he's so big time. He like, is big time. I have so much respect for that guy. I watched, uh, but he's smart. That guy's smart. I mean, he's a good artist, amazing artist, but his sense of business is just like, Wow, I think he's crazy. I think he's more a businessman than like a creative type. I want to say that, but then again, he created some of the best stuff. So how can I say uh, that? He what? says he's both. Like he said, he he considers himself a businessman that knows art. He's lucky. He's, yeah. he's a talented. He's a talented individual. Yeah. Um. Strangely, the one thing I was, I think McFarland's uh, stuff was good. I'm just yeah. I'm not really huge in their properties. Mm -hmm. But one figure that I thought was really good, and I kind of hate myself for liking it. Is they're doing a Kickstarter relaunching like Spawn, Spawn. Right? but that's I, sweet. Why not? I really liked the Spawn mm -hmm. figure that they showed. Mm -hmm. Like I really, I, I'll buy that. But the thing is, is after I get the Spawn, I'm not gonna buy a medieval Spawn. I'm not gonna buy Tremor. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, how far can that go? And how much better than the old ones will they be? Those old figures were like they were sculptures, though. Yeah, yeah. Did they move at all? Really? Like... The first two series did yeah and they were they were actually pretty well articulate yeah. articulated but like by series like three or four they were just like straight up statues um i just want i just want a really articulated spawn i don't know why it's got a nostalgia to it yeah. but i'm not gonna buy a violator or, or clown or any of the other yeah. characters so i don't know how deep that can go but perhaps uh spawn... yeah but it might go deep because i mean spawn is like no joke anymore man spawn is older now and Spider-Man was when we worked at, at, at Time Traveler. What do you mean? It's older. Oh, I mean, it's, it's as old now. Yeah. Spawn has been around as long For now. For like 25 as, years. Yeah, Spider-Man has been since we worked, since we were in high school. Right, right. I see I mean, what you're saying. It's, it's as legit now as Spider-Man was then. I mean, that's crazy. It is we're crazy. Old, man, we're so old. I don't know if there's any chance that movie can be good, though, that new movie. That original, that original Spawn movie goes down in history as one of the most irritating. And John Leguizamo's character's yeah, version of the terrible. clown is awful. It was awful. Um, I always feel bad for Michael Jai White because uh, he probably thought he was going to be the was biggest he thing. Spawn? Yeah. He actually has. He's a, awesome, though. He's Black Dynamite. He's like. Oh, yeah. He's had a good career. Uh, he's awesome. It's just that, like. I didn't realize it was him. Yeah, yeah. He's had a good uh, career. Yeah. He makes a really good over the top bad guy, too. Like what is he Batman? in a bad guy? Who was he in Batman? He was the... What's his name? Gamble. Bring me the clown. Oh, yeah. no kidding. Yeah, he was totally over the top and not how he usually... He wasn't that... He wasn't cool, but yeah. I didn't know that was him. Gamble, yeah. I'm going to have to, like, w I guess watch that again. I don't yeah, know. It's not a hard thing to do. Man. No. Great. Um, one other noteworthy thing. Uh, Diamond Select Lord of the Rings figures look good. Uh, say that again. The Diamond, Diamond Select, Lord, Select of the Lord of the Rings figures... They look like they're almost more of a six inch scale, but the problem is, is I can't bring myself to going back and collecting Lord of the Rings again. Are they like Lord of the Rings from the movies? Oh yeah. 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 Why? Yeah. They look great. I mean, I'm sure they do look great, but like, why? I guess not why. I get because it. Because but... they can go deep in it. Didn't the original series go really deep? Super deep. Like, that, that was pretty complete. It was very. And they look good. They did. Like... They were a bit, uh, lacking the articulation. Yeah. Um, if they would have done those in a six inch scale or a three inch, three and three fourth inch scale, I'd be on board completely. I don't know. It just seems like Lord of the Rings because there's so many different heights 
that it makes more sense mm -hmm. to do like an 18 118 scale uh, but i mean who has the room for like a lord of the rings you know giant world like because then if some you make people i, I guess mean, so it, i just think they're boring you and do i mean no no i mean if you're if you're in dudes in row i guess there's some armor and stuff you're right but, it's but like, like robes and swords orcs, and that sword on looks yeah, awesome earth tones and it's like if you looked at it from a distance it all sort of just look camouflaged i see where you're coming but from. nothing wrong i mean it's it, it's okay right it's all right i like repainted mecca uh, I mean, it's fine. It's just like... I see what you're saying. It just looks like a, a that, bunch of trees and grass. Yeah. And I mean, that's just a hell of a thing to to go... To do now with no media. That's true. Media that's behind true. It. I mean, I, I think it's sort of cool, but... Yeah. No, I agree with you. I just think, again, if they would have done like a three and three fourth inch set where they can do all the different scales, I think it just made more sense. makes more yeah. sense for building a world like that. Especially like... Because you'd have the horseman. Right. Aragorn with his horse. That's right. Cool Horses, stuff like dragons, yeah. uh, tree beard. I mean, it just... It, I always wish that that, that line would have been a uh, three and three fourth inch. Um, and then other than that, like, I went to Midtown Comics in New York. Yeah. I, I was going to send you pictures, but I got wrapped up. Uh, it was cool, but it's a comic book shop. Yeah. And it's basically like... I don't know how they afford that real estate over there in Times Square. Like... Because that's huge, right? It, it is, but I mean, like, you gotta sell a lot of comic books in order yeah, to make order. your money. But it was cool but to check out that and Forbidden Planet. I yeah. checked that out. I ate uh, pizza, of course. Was it good? Yeah, uh, Joe's was good, and okay. Blinker Street is where I went. I, I, Magnus mm. took me to Blinker Street, and then I went to Joe's. Um, it was great. It was mm. definitely uh, an experience. Uh, it was huge. It was just really enormous. It was really fun to see the small small companies come in and try to like promote a product like that's what I that's like. what it's about right i mean that's what it's about you know, hasbro's gonna sell what they sell that's you true know, it's sort of like they don't i wish i would have seen more like point, small Fuck companies you. like trying to do like new action figure lines but it's just yeah. that action figures aren't the thing yeah. so you know people were there trying to bring like trying to find the new trend yeah. But uh, I wish I was a big shot where people would have given me a little bit more, uh, you know, like access to things. Like I couldn't get into uh, like Jack's Pacific and like Jazzware. Like really? Yeah, it's so weird. Like it's so like, it's like clicky. I thought or is it, it just like it was definitely an industry show. Like you could feel yeah. that. Like you could feel that. Like like there's guys that have been doing it for 20 25 years and they they all knew each other and and i just probably looked like uh some nerd there who was looking at action figures and technically i you am, were but, but you're still a reseller that's right i mean I, i'm trying to create a toy store uh and, and i was looking for products that uh, i could take a gamble on and like uh -huh. like a fun like thing but uh it was it was the best and i think it's something i have to go to every year Oh, uh, yeah. I'll go with you next year. I think year. you should. I'll go next year. All right. Yeah, I'll go next year. Um, mm -hmm. And you know what? I think next year I would actually try to go as press because I think that there's advantages to it, which I was really surprised. I thought the people that came with money. Yeah, spend... You would think that's who they want to impress is the people buying this shit. Me I too. Mean, like, that's what I thought. I was disappointed. Like, Shardimus is good for, like, one. I saw him there, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay, so, and also, uh, post-New uh, York Toy Fair... 15 minutes before we got together, yeah. I ran to Target. Yeah. Boom! Nice! Mandalorian. Yeah, let's see these. All right. I don't know. Like, right. I'm excited. Yeah. I'll uh, these two. All just, right. Wow. I'm going to take the troopers. Cara Dune is hot. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's awesome. Um, Sorry, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at no, Star that's okay. Wars figures. I, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to bust them open later. Uh, yeah. I should have bust them open now, but I kind of want to sit with them if you don't mind. Um, I kind of wish now even though i think i prefer that mandalorian outfit yeah i think that i kind of wish they would have done the new one because the new one's the one right we'll find out i don't know i don't like that armor that i know it's so clunky in the new armor but you can't go back to that now right like we we were talking about it no once you get best car i mean i wouldn't give up the best car I mean, right it works right man. i thought he was gonna have a moral dilemma about it yeah after whatever the episode he got yeah. in and go back but he can't now he can't mm -hmm. go back I love him. I, I love it. Uh, I'm excited. Not only that, but um, guess what should be home for me when I when I get home? 
Oh, Leo convoy? My Leo convoy, but guess what else? What else? My sectars. Oh, nice. So here's a nice. question I have for you. Yeah. Like, can you do like a midweek emergency? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, for sure. Because right. I'm really anxious about them. I mean, I'll have to do it later afternoon. That's at, fine. Like, three ish or something. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Why don't I just... they have an actual picture of her? Why are they even an see. illustration? That's an illustration, right? That's not like a picture. That is disappointing. It's totally. Yeah. Look, Why? That's really weird. That's, they're all sort of, like, of course this is, but. Well, they're certainly, like, touched up photos. But yeah. that one, you're right. That or is looks... it just poor printing that it no, looks like I that? Think, that I think... looks like a comic book or Definitely. something. Definitely. That's kind of weird. I like the ones like this, where it's like, it looks like it's like a brief action spot. Out of the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, see. it's like, that's all they could find. Like, because there were some characters, like Yak Face, where there was like one second of film, and that's the only, yep. they had to take a shot Yeah, and that. it's like, he's not even centered so, right, right, on the right, card, because right. they couldn't, it's like, nope. That's nope. the best. Um, mm -hmm. I'm super excited about those. I'm super excited about my Sectars. I'm super excited about my Leo Convoy. And I got this too, um... This is the three zero. This is obnoxious. It is good. It's beautiful. You know? um, Enrico came and brought me batteries so we could Wait. test the eye feature, which is okay. amazing. Uh, this is amazing, but I think ultimately, like, it's an it's it's an articulated statue. Okay, is this a toy? I mean, can you does he do like? Can you get him in a lot of poses? Yes, okay, you can so. get him in. Like he's got. He, you can get him in any pose. He comes with really? like extra arms. Um, the, the only thing is, is it doesn't transform. Yeah, that's tough, but you know what? It's like, well, what I don't get, and I'm being whiny here, is like most Transformer collectors that I know just put them on their shelves anyway, yeah. but then they're the first ones to be like, oh, if it doesn't transform, I don't want it. Now, what that said is if it doesn't transform, I don't really want it, but if you're going to just... do it once. Most people transform it once or twice, and then they're scared to death. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, stress mark. Never again. Isn't that so weird that Transformers works that way? Like, it's like right. after you transform it once or twice, you become totally like terrified. Paranoid of it. Yeah, because you know like, how, how much you had to force it around right, right, all right. of that. And, and I sadly don't revisit toys enough. Like, I don't go on my shelf in my basement and be like, you know what, I haven't I'm transformed. I'm going to do this again. Yes, yeah, yes. And you. that's like a good hour of, like, play value right there. And especially if you don't touch it anymore, you really forget. Like, go transform Megatron right now. Could not do yeah, it. Yeah, me neither. I tried the yesterday. I'm really? Like, yeah, fuck this. Really? Yeah, I was, like, going to put on a YouTube video and figure it out. Uh -huh. I'm like, you know what? I don't need mm, that in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. I'll probably, yeah, you know. That's hilarious. Yep. This is amazing, though. I mean. So nice. I think heavy. It is. I think this is, I think this is the winner for Optimus Prime Designs. Like. Me too. From the get-go. Mm. Me too. I think mm. it, there's, there's really, like, it's a little over-designed, but it's so toned down from the Michael Bay stuff mm -hmm. that it, it looks like perfection. Yeah, because it's like it pays homage to that, but it goes back to G1, mm. which is sweet. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love all the wires and the and the details and the, like, you know, yep. sculpts. But Best of both worlds. It's great. Mm. Do the wheels roll? I don't think so. Oh. They, they look but like, they feel rubber. They do feel they like rubber. They are rubber. They just don't roll. That's okay. Yeah. It's beautiful, though. Mm. So what do you got going on? You get any new books this week? I haven't talked to you in a while. What'd you Picked get? up a couple. I mean, I buy the fine books every week. It's hard for me to keep track of what I bought, but I'm working on Doctor Strange Run. Okay. Right now, I completed Tomb of Dracula. That's awesome. Completely. I'm done with Ghost Rider. Done with Werewolf by Night. That was this okay. year. Completed them. Runs. Um, do you have a Taskmaster's First Appearance? No. Jump Avengers on 196. Yeah, 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 jump yeah. on that. Yeah, I gotta get that, but that's already gone. Is it? What does that go for now? A couple hundred. Okay. I, so. I think it's gonna go up a couple hundred more. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Yeah, what was the big deal? Um, Real quick, like, we, I sort of missed it. Like, Batman 89 was all the rage. Yeah, because it was the Joker's new girlfriend. What's her name? Uh, uh, nah, it's Hush. like. It's, Rush. It's got, like, another, like, Harley Quinn, like, name, like, Jester yeah, or something. Yeah, it was quick 
It was a big deal, though, man. It was a big deal. Like, they sold out immediately, and I don't know. It was I, like just, a, I didn't buy into yeah, it. Yeah, it was like a pre-manufactured uh, uh, first, like, appearance. first appearance. And honestly, if you would have told me a day earlier, I probably would have went and found one just right. for just shits for and the, giggles. Yeah, but, yeah. But, okay, you know what's coming out, though? No. Bad idea comics. What's that? Oh, it's, it's this company, and uh, it's got some big names behind it. One of them being Jeff Lemire. No, I don't know who that is. He's a pretty well-respected writer the last stuff he he did like a run of moon knight that actually people okay. liked and bought he's done a ton of stuff and it's gonna be a new company and i've heard of this probably i mean it's sort of a big deal and what they're gonna do they're they're gonna have certain they're gonna sell to uh, i think 20 stores at first that's it mm-hmm they're going to be three ninety nine cover price. Oh, my buddy was telling me about no this. variance. Yeah, and one per customer. They're going to ask like to enforce a one per customer. Yeah, thing. my my buddy who uh, runs Sailfish in mm-hmm. in North Carolina was telling me about this. Yeah, what so do you think, think about it? He's excited because he's one of the retailers. I'm behind it. I want that. Yeah, I, that's for. I don't like new stuff, but I would buy that because I like the idea of it. So you like the idea that they're like limiting. The retailers that will sell their product. Well, like, they're doing because they have to now. I mean, I think they're doing it so they don't. I Do mean, they have cool characters though. We'll find out. I don't know. It sounds again. I'm not saying it's bad, but just like based on what you were telling me and what what he told me, it sounds almost a little gimmicky to me. I think so, but the whole gimmick is that they're pulling the gimmick out of it. Mm. Like, are they pulling the whole like no variants? I love that, man. Yeah, like, that, they, that's good. So they're just going to make a standard issue. But the thing is, is they get to determine who orders their books or not, though, right? Is that true? I think for, I mean, I don't know. I don't think they would probably turn anybody down if you wanted to sell their stuff. I I just think maybe their pricing for print run, they have to figure out mathematics, mean that your best price point is to sell it to this many people. Mm. But I don't know. I I, I don't know. It's to be seen. Look, as long as the characters are cool yeah. and the stories are cool, then then I'll, I support that. It just sounds a little gimmicky at this moment, but mm-hmm. like I'm basing it on very little information. It does do sound this. gimmicky, but yeah. it sounds like they're trying to get back to basics, which yeah. is a gimmick in itself right, right now. Right. But basics is good. I think it's gotten a little out of control. But again, mm-hmm. like I I kind of stopped cl- comic book collecting again. I, I just got but into it and then just got out of collecting it. Collecting new books is impossible. It, I mean, as is. much as I spend on key issues and buying old stuff, there's people that spend way more than me just buying new stuff. Definitely. That's like, why. When you get every variant, it's crazy. Like, it's nuts. It's absolutely like nuts. When I opened the store, like I had to contend with if I wanted to carry comic books because typically at toy stores carry comic books or yeah. this kind of store. And I was just like, I don't know that I could keep up with that. I, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know how you keep up with that. Well, I don't know how you could do both. I mean, like, toys and no. comics, I mean, that's like, you know, they go well together. Right, right. But they're not related. No, no, you know? no. I mean, but I, I wish them luck. I think that's kind of cool. Um, anything else? Like, any, any, uh, any, I'm trying to think of any, like, movies or anything. I, I haven't really, Outsider, are you caught up? I, watched... I didn't watch last okay. night's episode. Good, good, yeah, because I'm getting a it's, little annoyed. It, why, really? Nothing's happening. Okay. I just watched, like, what was last night, episode seven? Uh, nine, and I think there's only ten episodes. It's not nine. I, I think it? so. I'm one episode short. Well, I mean, last night was the only one I didn't watch. Yeah, you're late. Yeah, oh, yeah. My only fear, we're talking about outs- yeah. Outsider on HBO, is that it's going to be like True Detective season three, where every episode was good. Until yeah. the last that's episode, one sort of sucked, yeah, yeah, and I'm scared that that's what's going to happen here. But uh, w- you know, uh, without any spoilers, if you haven't watched Outsider up until now, I think it's. Did that you time. watch Clone Wars? I did. Two, yeah. I did. So here's my big deal, man. You think so? So here's my review on Clone Wars. Yeah. I finally like. I did the whole. I don't know if I talked about this before, but I did the whole catch up thing. You watched the essentials, right? You got it. And then, I'm feeling that these two episodes feel more like filler episodes. Well, they're just starting it off the season. I mean, when you think about it, the whole show is filler. I mean, it's well, like you know how it ends up. I guess you're right. But you, you know, like you like the what are they called? The bad the bad gang? What are they called? Yeah, whatever the bad yeah. batch. Yeah, they're that, pretty cool. I think they're the bad sweet. Batch. But like they totally had a huge retcon. Like remember the part where Anakin is sitting talking to Padme in the hologram, mm-hmm. and he comes out, and like Obi Wan knew. 
So yes. I that's a that big too. deal. I thought so too. That's a, That's like what? Yeah. It also makes me have to like think about yeah, like stand up for yeah. Me. yeah. It makes me have to think about like like if that feels right. I don't know. I don't know. I thought about it a lot. I'm like, I don't know about this. Yeah. I don't I know speak either. Speak about Star Trek. You're not into it, huh? So uh, I finally decided that I don't think I like Picard. Why? Um, I think the I again. I'm I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah. Not one of the characters. Like I'm not. I don't like them. Like I don't like get excited for them. There's I just not think one. There's too much exposition and to do in like eight episodes. It's like. I like, agree, but like, like okay, for an example, like, and I'm comparing it to something that obviously I like yeah. the Star Wars universe, but, but like Mandalorian, I yeah. liked every character, good or bad. Like, I wanted mm-hmm. to see what happened to him. Uh, Discovery, Star Trek Discovery, yeah. there was a couple characters that I really cared about in that show. But see, but, I think I like this more than Discovery. I liked Discovery. But, I, but, which, which of these characters do you, and I'm not judging, I'm just asking, like, which one do you, are you following? Like... Even Picard, like, I'm not sure how much I love him. But like, Picard, um, for the most part. Okay. Picard, I like the captain. Okay, the captain's okay. Cool. I actually, I don't sort of, I, I'm interested. I mean, the captain, Picard, I forget, is her name Abby? Mm-hmm, the blonde. Yeah, I, like, that was really She's interesting okay. what happened with her. I mean, I don't know, it's just starting to interest okay, me. I mean, okay. it's like... Like, Picard at first was the only one I cared about because they're introducing all new characters and it's sort of an all new world. I mean, I know it's Star Trek, but it's like, there's just a lot going on, you know, as far as exposition. Well, there's a lot going on, but in the end, nothing's going on. I think the next couple episodes are going to be huge. All right, that's what I'm hoping for. Like, again, like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it in, like, a negative way. Uh, I just, like watched the other episode and realized that I don't like any of these characters. I'm not really like rooting for any of them, good or bad. And uh I don't think the story has any weight yet. Like and but you're right, it is still it's just like really trudging along. I'm just like I'm like ready for them to like make me care about it. Yeah. I cared about Discovery. By episode five I think I was like all in. And, but it's uh, a better time. It, it's like it's on a ship and it starts on a ship so you have a crew mm-hmm. like this has some dark stuff like Raffi. That story sucks uh, with her son and all that. It's I, it's like, yeah. like she's I don't know I don't know if it makes her unlikable. She's or the she's most like, unlikable character in my opinion. I, I don't like her at all. I sympathize really? with her though. Mm. You know, like that's what I'm hoping for. Like I'm she's trying I... to redeem herself. You know, and yeah. it's like I hope I don't I wonder if she's gonna die. I don't know. I mean, I, I, uh, like I said, I'll continue to watch it, but yeah. I find myself like always fiddling with my phone when I'm watching. A it. little too dark for me. Like I don't like Star Trek going that dark. You know, it's just like dealing with people vaping and getting drunk and stuff. Yeah, Trek yeah. Is a little it weird. It doesn't feel Star Trek. Yeah, to me. and the language is the like, language bothers like, enough. I thought it was just that one admiral to prove a point. But then they're like throwing swear bombs. Everybody, I love bombs. swearing. Don't get, I too. love bad language. I love it, but not I'll in vouch Star for Trek. That. You love yeah. swearing. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Star Trek it doesn't yeah. doesn't seem right. Yeah. And 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 it's weird because like again like everyone's drinking and and swearing and it's like up until this show they never did any of that. I mean drinking occasionally. I think they would have like a cocktail. Mm-hmm. But like you know everyone's drunk and everyone's and that's fine. It just doesn't feel it doesn't feel natural i guess but yeah. i don't know so what else uh in, uh invisible man i guess is supposed to be seen did you see that uh, all right so you think it looks good or... I, I guess so it's a bloom house yeah. movie and i guess it's what, good. well okay wait movie, movie, movie. uh There's you a couple know good ones dune is all i care about what's that like the the religious one that looks pretty freaky saint maud no saint I, I don't know anything Ooh. about that Ooh. Ooh, it's scary i think it's called saint maud mm. looks terrifying Oh, uh, I'm curious. I don't know. It's a church movie, and those always freak me out. Me too. You know, I get all creepy about that. Church and, and, and church. forest. Forest. Like, church. Church. What about a church in the forest? Oh, that would be. Oh, yeah. that's almost like that's like Blair Witch level. Yeah. Dude, Blair Witch yeah. scared the living. Yeah, that scared the Jesus out of me. That was the last movie that I truly was like, truly terrified. That movie got me scored with a girl because like nice. we were arguing. Uh-huh. I went to see it. And then after that, she made me stay over. 
She wants to be That's she fantastic. Send me home and, yeah. There needs to be more Blair Witches in the world. Yeah. <laughs> there really do. That was a scary movie. That was a scary still. movie. And, yeah. and I saw it before all the hype and like whatever. So it was like I was going into it not really knowing what I was going into. And honestly, if you put... Like if you do a movie of people in the woods and you don't know what's going on, I'm just Creepy. naturally yeah, getting, scared. Yeah, lost and like you, you, yeah, you think you're gonna get somewhere and we were just here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, terrified. I'm, I'm terrified. Yeah. Um. So ultimately, Toy Fair was great. Yeah. You definitely. I heard it was the best one. Really? That's what, I mean, just like what everybody said, you had the most stuff out of it in years. It was great. Like I know I'm missing a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, I am excited for GI Joe. Um, I'm 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 hoping my Snake Eyes shows up soon, and we're gonna. That's definitely an emergency. Review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I love what they're doing in Star Wars. I I, I, lo I had a great experience, and I love New York. Like I really did. Like I feel like I feel like uh I feel like I'm like leaving New York. I, I feel like I'm leaving behind something. I don't know right. why. I just really connected with it. Uh, um, anything else? Not that I know. All right. Well, maybe. Okay. We gotta talk. We got a little bit of a debate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring it on. Okay. This all started with a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Got into a little bit of a disagreement. She seems to think that Megatron would win in a fight with Darth Vader. And that was it. I asked her, you know, new friend. Right. Oh, we're just... Darth Vader versus Megatron. Um, uh, now, you agree I, with her. I immediately think Megatron yeah. would destroy Darth now, Vader. Okay, but, but okay, like, we're going to let... The, the the comments decide this. Yeah, I'm gonna let the audience, but you guys are all crazy. I They're think really... Vader would dispense with them in minutes. I well, mean, I think of like, like Megatron's a battle droid with a brain. Like, I guess you're right. I guess I'm thinking size and size? sheer mass. Could, could Darth Vader? Luke took on a Rancor, and that's his Luke. Yeah, but a Rancor wasn't Megatron. Megatron's like a sentient being. Like, so he Rancor? Think... Uh, Rancor's more like a creature, like okay, an elephant. Okay. Okay. Um, so, the like Darth is, Vader, I don't think there's anybody who could really beat Vader hand to hand. Emperor could destroy Vader. Okay, but I don't think there's anybody that could beat the Emperor hand to hand. Like he's second, but I mean I know Luke did, but like who could beat well, up Luke Scott? I mean I think Vader and Luke are tied. Honestly, for all intents and purposes, like Luke won, but there are like but, mental factors right, involved. Right. And Vader's short sure again. Like they're well, they're tied. Young young Darth Vader. Would have beat young Luke. I mean, maybe, right? maybe, so, yeah. Like, I think only, that's safe to say, but only, you could argue it either right. way. I mean, I think Darth Vader was ultimately, other than the Emperor, the toughest, the the, the right. most powerful, uh, and he had potential to be even more powerful, perhaps if he didn't get uh, all roboticized. Right. So, but but we have to go with what information we have. So, could Darth Vader cut it? Pick up. Megatron and just and rip him apart. I think so. You do. I mean, I think he could use his lightsaber. I mean, Darth Vader. Okay, fine. Darth Vader versus versus an ad at fully. Well, an ad at can't think. No, but with like say someone smart in it control with a fully crude, best best crew there could ever be. Like I'd say any piece any. I don't know. But an ad at it's a clunky vehicle. Megatron is a giant robot that can turn into a gun or tank. I don't know. I just think that Darth Vader um, maybe I'm under, mentally could. Like, I'm under the impression okay. that Darth Vader and his TIE fighter could take on a Star Destroyer and win. No. I think he could. I think by well, I guess through Poe hiding, took on a Star getting Destroyer. on board, he would find a way to get on board, do something. Not like the Star Destroyer would take down the ad right. but I think he could find a way to be smart enough to get on board. But again, Megatron is a is not a machine they're sentient beings. i get it so, i know i know so you have to also deal with the fact that he's smart he can deflect laser blasts and just send them back to him i think it all depends on whether darth vader's able to get into megatron's mind if he can get into his mind then i'm gonna say vader but otherwise i think i think megatron would squish vader see i think that i think vader would dispense with him in minutes i don't think it would be a good fight Really? So do you think he could just, like, destroy his brain? Because I, I just... think he could crush his head into a can. Rip the Matrix. Rip his He doesn't have right the Matrix. So... Whatever is inside him. He's yeah, got something yeah, to step his... on. I think he could rip him into... Uh... Rip his life energy... Like, rip the spark right out of him. I, I guess it depends on circumstance. Like, are they going in the ring? Like, like, yes. like okay, so they're going to Mortal Kombat ring? Yes. I gotta go with... I gotta go with Megatron, man. 
I think Megatron will just squish him. <laughs> okay. Oh. I guess I'm wrong as well, hell. But no, I'm not saying audience. you're wrong. I think you have some valid points. Like, if he could, if he can... Like, Darth Vader is magic. That's right. Like, so... he's got magic on his side, and he has, like, supernatural ability. I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe he could... It depends. If he's capable of just... I don't know how powerful Vader's ability is because we only saw so, so little of it right but i go i say that like i i use anakin and what we've seen of him mm -hmm. like i i say that vader is pretty much that power i know we lost some right. balls but if if he was put in a mad max style arena yep. and he was forced to have to destroy the other person we don't know what would vader's capabilities be they probably be pretty nuts. Like Vader gets his lightsaber, mm -hmm. and Megatron can have his fusion. Right, because Vader, when he was fighting Luke, he never really wanted to hurt Luke. Exactly, he was just he never to hurt him. Right, and same thing with Obi Wan. You know, there was some apprehensive. Yeah. Uh, you know, he he probably wasn't. I don't know. Maybe he was angry with Obi Wan, but yeah. Obi Wan had those similar powers. I don't know. That's a that's a that's a good question. I guess yeah. hmm. we'll let you decide, yeah. audience. <laughs> your comments decide. Yeah, we'll follow up on this later. Yeah, definitely. Pick my side, though. Yeah. Until next time. Nerd, Nerd out. out. Sectars, dude. Sectars. Sectars.